Hello, and welcome back. <clears throat> I believe this is part 15, and uh, more problems. This time it's with one of their pieces, uh, one of their laser cut pieces. And this is why I can't get nothing done to show you guys, because i got to burn up another video trying to show you their mistake. Um... Because I spent about three hours in here last night figuring out what I'm going to do about this. Now, can anybody guess what part I'm having problems with? Yeah, you back there from Australia. Correct. It's this part here. Yeah. I've only showed you this about a half a dozen times. Now it comes time to when I'm going to work on the deck railing. It's bad. Alright, so let me get the camera turned around here and, and show you. You know, i I got to show you guys this because if, if I'm doing this build with you guys and showing you how I'm, I'm coming along, I just can't show you the good parts and what I did and how, I, you know, how it looks. i got to show you the bad parts too and the problems I run into because I wouldn't be much of a modeler if I didn't show you some of the problems you're going to have and how to resolve them. Now, the way I resolve them is probably different than a half a dozen other guys the way they resolve it. But this is what I'm going to do and I'm going to show you this. Alright, so let me get the camera turned around and I'll show you what the problem is. Okay, so I figure I'm to the point where it's about time to get this deck railing on or get it at least fabricated so I'm looking at this part here now in the directions they tell you it overhangs the edge of your uh, top of your ship here the wasteboard it said it overhangs they don't tell you how much it overhangs so I took a little measurement off of the plans and it looks like about a sixteenth of an inch and that just so happens, that sixteenth of an inch, if I can get this up here, is this little piece here that sticks out on the side. That's about a sixteenth of an inch. So that's what I'm going to shoot for. Have that overhang this uh, stanchions in that. So okay, I go and I put it up here. I get it overhang over here on this side. Perfect. Got it lined up looks great but look at this here if you can see this it's almost a quarter inch away from where it should be on the other side I'm gonna bring it up here to you a little bit see that wait a minute it slipped right there that is overhanging where my finger is up on the top about a sixteenth of an inch but look at it on the bottom down there it's it's off by a quarter of an inch okay so I sat here and thought oh no man what did I do wrong something I must you know I must have not did the transom right or something okay so I got the plans out and I made copies of the plans alright right here now they got this ship split down the middle, a center line down the middle, and right here on the plans is an outline of this part. Where's it at? Right there. I gotta get it in view. They got an outline of this part right here on the plans. If you can see it. Okay. So now I take this part and I lay it up on there just the way it shows matches right up with that on the on this plan let me get it on there okay it's on there just like it shows but look at down here where my thumb is look at that it is off by about a quarter of an inch so it's not me my ship is made right and I'll show you why this little part 
apparently has been cut wrong. Okay? Now, how do I know it's not me? Because I took copies of them plans and I made this. Let me back out some so you can see a little bit better. Okay? I went ahead and cut this out of the plans. Made copies of it and cut it out. Lay this on my ship. Alright? Let me get it on there. And guess what? That is dead on. Okay? That thing lays on there dead on. And it actually, on this side over here where they're showing you the rail, I've got a little bit of an overhang, about a sixteenth of an inch. This side is flush because that's the way they're showing you all the way down. Well, it slipped back here, but it, it, it's, it's a perfect pattern. My ship is almost 100% dead on to this pattern. All right. So if my ship is correct with their pattern, then why is this little thing not fitting? Okay, there's my sixteenth of an inch overhang. There it is flush with the back. And there it is almost a quarter of an inch off. So I come to the conclusion that's bad. It's been cut wrong. So I'm going to have to make one of these. And I have got on the internet and I was looking up this model and I seen another guy with the exact same model. The model ship weighs here, the blue nose. And he made one of these. Now he was only showing pictures and he did not explain why he made one. So I would only suppose that he had the same problem so he went ahead and made another one only he made his a little longer but that's neither here nor there apparently I'm not the only one with this problem so once again this is going to slow me down on my build because I have to prefabricate something here oh boy I tell you so here's what I'm going to do instead of cutting these out of the plans instead of cutting this rail system out of the plans I am just going to go ahead and get the outline of my ship I will cut that out but I'm going to get the outline of my ship and uh, try and match it up with that cutout and see how much of an adjustment I have to make because like I said I'm going to have to make this now this looks good you sit here and look at it and it looks right it, I mean it's got the same angle on both sides but something is off and, and I like I said I wasn't that good in geometry and stuff in school so I don't know what it is I thought about maybe if I just split it in half and made it a little wider it might work but that angle is off you put that on there and got that overhang okay starts out flush back here but then it tapers in so just by widening it ain't gonna do it I could probably split that and put an angle piece in there but then this angle is gonna be off from that angle I'm just gonna make a new one a whole new one so I have to go to the hobby store and get me some 16th inch uh, flat stock and uh, make one alright so uh, let me get set up here and show you what I got planned how I'm gonna do this okay now the reason I'm doing this is because I really don't trust them plans a whole lot so I want to get the outline of my ship and get my main rail to fit my outline okay so this main rail here okay the stock is going to overhang I, I figure about a sixteenth of an inch doesn't sound like a lot but if you if you put it up there and look at it it looks like a lot 
So I'm shooting for a sixteenth of an inch overhang on my waist board here and my stanchions. Looking for a sixteenth of an inch overhang all the way down. So, one of these boards here, one of these planks, is a sixteenth of an inch wide. So if I lay this up here, okay, now I've got a sixteenth of an inch extra on, on the top of this waist. And that should be the outline of where my top rail is going to come. So that's what I did over here. I taped on one of these boards right here all the way down, one end to the other, taped it on, and that should be the outline of my ship with the main rail, if I trace this out. Okay, follow me. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get this other one on on the other side. Then I'm going to lay it on a, on a piece of paper, and it's going to have to be, uh, my wife's got some art paper, some thick stock. And uh, because you notice the ship has that, that arch in it right there, so you can't lay it flat and draw it. So I'm going to have to get a piece of paper, a pretty thick piece of paper, card stock or something, and get up under here and get it flat to that so I can draw my outline of my ship with this extra piece on there and then match it up to their pattern and get my my main rail made and then I have to also make this in the back um, one thing they tell you in the plans is that this main rail is 1 16th of an inch thick by 7 30 seconds of an inch wide now that is a little bit confusing and I'll tell you why if you just made that to them dimensions you would be off because you have got this small areas here right here where the belay pins go and another section up here that um, that makes that main rail wider so you have to watch out for that so that is more than 730 seconds. This is 730 seconds right here. But up in this area, where the blade pins go, it's wider. So you have to be careful of that. Um, I will tell you this. The little bow part. This little thing here. That they made out of laser cut wood. Now that fits okay. That goes on the front up here. And it overhangs just right. It's matching up with that board I just put on there. So this part is right. It's either this part is wrong or their plans are wrong. And I don't think it's the plans because like I said, they match up to my ship. We both couldn't be wrong. So it's got to be this part. They, they laser cut this wrong. They laser cut it perfect for this side over here. Back on that. But like I said, it, it's, a, it's a quarter of an inch off. Let me see if I can do this. If I can bring this up to you. <coughs> okay. I got this board taped on. That's where my outside rail, this, this piece should fit on the main rail. Should come flush with that. Okay, I got it over hanging on this side, a sixteenth of an inch. Look it. Look at how far off it is down there. So, uh, you know, like I said, I sat here for three hours last night wasting a whole time when I could have been working on the ship. Now I'm spending another, what, half hour for this video, another hour and a half to get it edited and downloaded. It's time wasted. But like I said, if, if, if I don't show this to you, I'm not properly, I don't think I'm doing my job by not warning you of what's coming up. Because somebody will probably come along and get frustrated, I screwed up. But if you see this, you'll, you'll anticipate this coming on. So, be prepared to have to make one of these. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and get this other side taped on. 
this is my plan get this other side taped on here draw this pattern out turn it upside down draw this pattern out on a piece of paper I will take that pattern and match it up to theirs see how far off I am or if I'm close and then make my own rails from there I'm just not gonna I will cut this out but I'm gonna cut it out as a reference to what my ship is shaped like because I do have to get these uh, spots in the right place where the blade pins go and it tells me where all my little holes are on the side for pins and stuff just another bunch of crap you gotta go through you know just can't be simple alright I uh, I'm gonna get on this and probably next time you see me I should have this rail on hopefully but I gotta run over to the hobby store like I said and get me some stock so I can make that okay every time I think I'm done with you guys I, I take another measurement and I find something else alright remember I told you this rail was uh, they're giving you a measurement of 1 16th by 7 30 seconds okay and like I said there's uh, there's actually four different spots on here where it's actually wider than that um, there's a little area right up here that sticks out a little wider there's this area here and here where the blade pins go that's wider and also back here on that part we got to make it's a little wider so there's the 730 seconds don't get confused with that because that rail in some spots is wider than that now, I might have mentioned that but I was taking measurements here now this is what they're showing you here on the plans 730 seconds okay and then in a couple areas but if you take that and put that up here that will go from the edge of your stanchions with just a little bit of an overhang not quite my sixteenth of an inch that I'm looking for and I also said that what I want to do is have a little bit of an overhang just a hair on the inside of these stanchions I don't want to take the chance of, of making that board and finding out i got to sand down some of these stanchions. So I'm just going to go with a little hair longer. So I think what I've come up with for mine in them areas is about, I came up with about 964s. Or I'm sorry, 930 seconds. Yeah, I'm going to be closer, I'm going to be closer to 930 seconds instead of 730 seconds like they want so uh, just watch out for that you know that's why I'm taking all these measurements and trying to get this just right because I, I'm not putting too much faith in these plans anymore okay if that makes sense so I'm going to get my outline drawn like I said and then measure in about 930 seconds and then draw another parallel line and then put in these extra wide spots there where they got to be. That's the plan. Alright, thanks for watching.